Okay, so the tape for Samuel the Voice came out, the 43-year-old African-American man who was killed 10 days ago as a result of a white police officer shooting him in the head after stopping him for failing to display a front license tag. You know, I went and watched this on, I think it was CNN, yeah? And they showed it about three or four times, and I really couldn't see where it was necessary to do that. Then again, I, I can't really find sympathy for most of these racist cops killing people right now. Um, Sandra Bland thing was same, very similar circumstance. You know, there's a whole another little saga going on with that. But it all comes down to white officers handling situations very, very stupidly. You know, you have a weapon on your hand or on just on you learn how to control it properly where you're not killing people needlessly um what really pisses me off about this whole story is that again it comes right next to Sandra Bland thing so it's almost as though we're getting these killings of black people just back and forth and it's really discur disturbing and disgusting and a mockery of what real cops are um Honestly, I don't blame much of the African-American community for having problems with cops. I, I generally just try to avoid even having any encounters with them because oftentimes crap like this happens. You know, we've been having it for multiple years now, and it just seems as though it's never going to stop and it's never going to cease. And you can go and say, oh, well, he should have his, li his front license tag. Why, why did the guy not have his hand off of that gun? I mean, he, he goes over here and he starts talking about being dragged by the vehicle, forced him to fire the weapon. That is the biggest load of crap I've heard in a very, very long time. And it, it's really disgusting to me that you could even try blaming this man for his own death when you're the one with the weapon. I'm not saying cops can have weapons, but learn how to control them. You know, I, I really, I would go on and say that guns have no purpose but I'd probably become an enemy of the conservatives who want to go and defend this guy or they're soon going to because, you know, you know, they're just going to jump in and say, oh, well, you know, he, he was just acting and doing his job. You know, unfortunate things happen. Yeah, an unfortunate thing happening led to a male, a person, their life ceased because that unfortunate thing happened. But again, they want to act as though our lives are trivial. You know, uh the the whole story is is very sickening and watching the tape I, I can't help but just feel disgusted to even think that I live on the same planet with a cop that is such a waste of space and a waste of time how he even got into that position for someone said okay let's okay, let's okay him let's make him an officer how that even occurred is beyond me so i would i would just at this point be happy that he is being indicted or indicted whatever on murder charges i'm so pissed off i can't even speak properly and that he turned himself into hamilton county justice center you know black lives matter and it really i hope he spends the rest of his life paying for this there's no reason for somebody to be laying up in the ground and the person who killed them willingly to just be able to walk around the streets it's happened too many times i'm not going to let it happen again and we shouldn't let it happen again again as a country bottom line it's ridiculous and it needs to stop because I've been sitting over here for the last three years saying that and it's gotten to a point where I'm just I'm really tired of it people dying from from weapons that don't need to die nobody needs to die over so it's not natural I don't, th I don't think it's hard to realize that 